So I'm going to be doing this with a face cam. I usually don't do face cam videos, but if you join my viewing party for the combat cast, first of all, thank you so much for joining that live stream. Second of all, I just thought, man, what the hell, I'm doing it already, so why don't I continue doing it? So in today's video, I'm going to be explaining and sharing with you all all the news that we've got from the combat cast and some other things related to Mortal Kombat 11 without the bullshit. So let's get started. First things first, we of course got our first look at Cabal in Mortal Kombat 11. He is now officially confirmed to be in the game. And one of the things that I was so stupid not to notice was that his primary design is his Revenant form. If you've kept up with the story of Mortal Kombat, you would know that Cabal is currently dead but brought back as a Revenant. Revenant, so it's actually kind of cool to see that his primary design in this game is his Revenant form. I just like the consistency there. And on the subject of his design, I really like it. I really like his new mask. It just fits so well with the fact that he is a Revenant and it just looks so kind of demonic. It fits in with that kind of aesthetic of the character. If you want to check out both the trailer for Cabal and the gameplay breakdown of Cabal, the links will be down below. Another character that will be in Mortal Kombat 11 is Devora. She was revealed on an Xbox livestream showing off her new design, and I'm gonna be honest, I really do not like that design. I am happy with her in the game. I think Devora is a cool character, one of the characters that I liked in Mortal Kombat X that was introduced in Mortal Kombat X, but the design is just what I don't like. It looks too Injustice 2 to me, like with all that robot shit that was going on in that game, it just looks too similar to Injustice and Injustice design, you know? And honestly, I think she just needs a hood. If you put that hood on her that she had in Mortal Kombat X, I think the design would be okay for me. I know some of you guys may have different views, and I'm pretty sure that's a gear piece, and some of you guys may have different views, some of you guys like the design, and some of you guys agree with me not liking the design, and that's okay. I do see quite a lot of people liking that design. What I am looking forward to is those Baraka and Devora intros. That's going to be so awesome to see. Now, during the combat cast, Ed Boon was actually on and said a couple of things about the roster and the upcoming DLC characters that will be in the combat pack. He did say they are going to be announcing a lot of characters that we haven't seen in a long time and a lot of classic characters are going to be on the roster. And I really, really hope that Fujin is in that mix because he is one of those characters who we haven't, who we haven't seen in a long time and a lot of people really want to see. But he did assure that the DLC characters are going to be following that same pattern as well of being high demanded and classic characters. He even went on Twitter to make sure that that message was more clear than it already was since some people took it as that only the fan favorites and only the high demand characters are going to be DLC and not on the main roster. The next thing we have to talk about is the amount of stages that are going to be in Mortal Kombat 11. Now we previously saw in the Mortal Kombat 11 reveal event that the stage selection is 17 stages but it has now been increased to 21 stages which is super super exciting because the last two Mortal Kombat games or not the last two Mortal Kombat games the last two Netherrealm games haven't had a lot of stages the last time we had a large selection of stages was Mortal Kombat 9 so I am so glad that we're going back to having a lot of stages to choose from one of the last things we're going to be talking about is that there is going to be another combat cast that's going to be revealing a character in the game, and that character is going to be a female character. Of course, this can be anyone. It could be Katana, it could be Serena, it could be Frost, it could be anyone, but a lot of people are thinking it's going to be Jade, and... I kind of think the same way too. If you didn't know already, Jade was at the top of Ed Boon's poll from a couple of years ago when he asked who was the most missed female character in Mortal Kombat X. So if you're going to be revealing characters that a lot of people want and that we haven't seen, I think Jade is one of those characters. So I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up actually being Jade who's going to be revealed on Valentine's Day, but I would still be very excited to see what Jade looks like in Mortal Kombat 11. And the last thing we're going to be talking about today is a possible hint of a character being in the game played by a celebrity, and that is John Cena as Striker in Mortal Kombat 11. Now where this is all coming from is actually from John Cena himself when he went on Instagram and posted a picture of Striker with no context, just a picture of Striker from Mortal Kombat 9. 
Now, many people are saying that he posted this because Striker in Mortal Kombat 9 kind of does look like John Cena, so he could be playing around with that. And some people are saying that he does this all the time, posting random pictures with no context. So I don't know, but it is something worth mentioning. I personally think it would be pretty cool if John Cena was in Mortal Kombat 11 as Striker because I actually really like Striker, so seeing John Cena as Striker would be pretty darn cool to see. So I want to ask you guys, what do you guys think of Gabal and what do you guys think about Devora and what do you guys think about us getting a lot of stages? What stages are you hoping to see? And what do you make of the whole John Cena as Striker thing that the community is starting to speculate about? I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyways, this video has come to an end. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.